So what's up guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog what we're doing today is ball joints uh, I think the ball joints are going bad in this Jeep uh, Changed the ball joints on the driver's side already and now I'm about to do the passenger side and uh, About to show you guys that so yeah, let's get to it and the first thing you want to do of course is Take off your caps Move it out the way for now. Alright guys, so we got the tire off. Uh, we got our hooks here that we're going to use to hook the caliper because we don't have to take that off. We don't have to undo the lines. We got a 15 millimeter wrench and a 14 millimeter socket. And that's one more on the bottom. Caliper should be able to come right off. Take our hook, hook it through here, and we just let that sit to the side. And take off both of our brake pads. Like I say, now is a good time to check your brake pads, see if they're worn out, um, see if they're damaged. You can go and replace them at this time if you want. But these are brand new brake brake pads, so we're good with this. From there, you can go ahead and unhook these lines out of these brackets here. Uh, Want to take off these two big bolts that's holding the caliper bracket. Uh, one here and one at the bottom right here. You can get it off with a 21 millimeter socket. Guys, if you can't get it with the uh, with a regular socket, get you something like a big pry bar. That way, you got a better leverage. All right, so now we can take this bracket off. These are two bolts, and now we got those off. Our rotor should just slide right off. For this next step, you're gonna need like something long, like a big pry bar. What we're gonna use this for is, we have to get out this axle nut first. So, depending on which way you're going, you can use this pry bar for leverage. And then we can take off that. So depending on if you uh, change your axle already, uh, that new nut should be a 36, but if you still have the same axle in uh, stock, it should be a 35 millimeter socket. And that should go right in. All right, you don't wanna take this all the way completely off. Next, we're gonna take out the three bolts in the back of the wheel hub assembly they're here right here and you got one on this back side in these bolts out these three bolts wheel hub bolts you're actually going to need a 13 millimeter uh 12 teeth socket like this such uh to get it out but before you do that you want to make sure you give it a good cleaning take your little wire brush and Make sure you give them a good cleaning. When you're taking these uh, off, you probably want to give it just a little tap just to make sure you got it on nice and snug. You do not want this to come off. I'm going to spray a little bit of free all on the other side of Say these are all the old ones as you can tell how bad they look and these are the all right next guys you want to take off this little sensor here all 
All right, y'all. So, finally got it out. This is dust cover shield. This is the old wheel hub. Like I said, I bought a new one. Okay, it seemed like it's stuck. Just take your pry bar and come back here. And get a little leverage and just pry it. Then you should be able to pull the entire axle out. I'm gonna take off this nut here at the bottom. But before you take it off, you got a safety ring on it. Boom. Same thing for the top. Find our little kink pin. Like I said, now we're about to start working on the top bolt. We're gonna use a 716th to get the top off. Alright, so finally got it broken loose enough. Uh, I ended up having to grind the bottom of this nut out and then took a, a four pound hammer and then just beat on it. So before I break it completely loose, I'm going to uh, take off the drag link and the tie rod. Like I say, this kit from Amazon is more of a heavy duty kit uh, to better take on 4x4 ball joints uh, for heavy duty. Uh, but like I say, this kit was probably around about $70, $80 on Amazon. And it has more stuff than the actual AutoZone, O'Reilly's, that type of stuff. So you want to start this at the top. Put your little groove like this the bottom of here so like I said before we press it out you find this attachment and like I say this is in the box that I got from Amazon the one from AutoZone O'Reilly's and Advanced Snapper it will not have this attachment I guarantee you it will not but yeah take this little attachment insert it in the hole and from there Get, get it snug once we got it tight we can start cranking on it the more I crank on it just slowly pushing it right out Here's our ball joint pressed up. Say so we got the bottom pieces on. Um, we put this other connector piece there. So we can try to push down on the entire ball joint. That don't seem to work. Get yourself a big pipe, cheetah pipe. All right now, like I say. We took our other fitting off uh, because it pressed up onto the ball joint. And so you see these ball joints, all that caked up debris, rust. All right, guys, so from here, all we're going to do pretty much is just clean up a lot of this rust. This is our uh brand new bottom ball joint here uh i just took the boot off that holds all your grease in you could take that off while you want to press it in next is like i say this is a ring uh that you're supposed to clip this ring here that you're supposed to clip on but as you can see when i took the old one off um the old one doesn't have a ring so and this is the old one here 
So don't stress yourself out about it and you know, don't beat yourself up. If you're like, oh man, oh, I got it all the way pressed up and I can't get my ring on. Uh, it's because in the bottom, the ring's not supposed to go on. Because as you can see, when we press this up, this was maybe sticking out maybe a, uh, a millimeter or two. So there's no way you can actually get your ring on. So uh, I'll show you in a second. Once Right now, we're just going to uh, find the correct fitting. That we're how we're gonna do it. All right, guys. So, like I say, we got our ball joint <clears throat> sitting here at the top. We got our fitting to go over that. Got our fitting to go over. Ball joint sits at the top, and it slowly presses it in. No more, that's it. We got the bottom joint all in. This one uh, needs to be pressed in from the top. You can go ahead and put your boot back in. And here's the bottom boot. And now, while we already got it tore down, we can take our nut off go and add our grease. Now we can go and insert our fitting. And you want to pump it until you see the bottom boot start to poke out. Now you want to take this off. Only on the bottom. You want to take this off. And find that nut that we were just talking about here. And put that back in. Guys, these are just small thread nuts so you don't want to strip it. Once you get it tight, give it one more tug, and then that's it. The reason why we put this nut back in, because these fittings that came with the ball joints, once you put these in, they're actually too high. So whenever you put the axle in and the axle starts spinning and the car starts actually moving, that axle shaft is going to hit this. Yeah, once this breaks off, all of that dirt, debris, everything's going to get into your ball joint. And you don't want that. So then you'll be replacing the ball joint all over again. Listen, do not put this back on. Just went down. We're good. And that's changing the ball joints. Top and bottom on a Jeep Wrangler JK. All right, guys. So now from there, we can get our brand new heavy-duty spindle on. Just slide it up. So before you put uh, your nut on at the top, you want to put this bracket on that's going to hold the uh, ABS line. The top. Got our new axle that we're adding in. You have some gear oil laying around. You can take your gear oil and put it on your threads. You want to just carefully put it in the middle. And you want to pick up on it as you slowly slide in because you don't want it to get any trash. Or debris in. So now you will put your wheel hub back on. Um, like I say, I went ahead and bought a new one just because of the fact the Jeep was wrecked and we pretty much didn't know what was the cause of our death wobble, so we're just trying to eliminate everything and try to change everything while we can. Well, guys, before you go ahead and mount everything up and put your shit on, go ahead and get your ABS wire and stick it through. And we take our bolts that we got from uh, Oralis. We can take our rotor, get our rotor back on, and we take our bracket. 
And we get our bottom one in. Both the brackets tighten up tight. Boom, got our brake pads in. Now we take our wrench and our socket, tighten up the brake caliper. Alright guys, from here you have everything on. Uh, you got your axle nut back on. You got the drum. You got the caliper, you got the brakes in. You got everything tight. You got both ball joints in, you got the bracket. Just slap your tires back on and you're done. And there you have it, ball joints are done. Yeah, so all you do is slap the tires back on and you're finished. But thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like, subscribe to the channel. Y'all, I'm out.